My favourite thing about Christmas has always been uh, the Santa Claus, you know, the red guy from Christmas. Uh, before he came along, presents didn't really exist. So as a, as a young Jewish lad, I don't get a lot of Christmas fun. My family kind of celebrated Hanukkah a lot, and contrary to what other Jewish folk will tell you, Hanukkah sucks. Hug. I need a hug. <laughs> then one day, David Coca-Cola, president of the Coca-Cola company, uh, he made this he made this TV commercial, and it showed this person I'd never seen before. I was immediately drawn to him, a large red man traveling across the world and spreading joy to people everywhere, much like my brother Mario with his classic video games that everyone loves to play. You stand around a little candlelight, you sing a few songs that you don't understand the words to, you spin a top. That is the highlight of Hanukkah, the little dreidel thing that you spin. I almost died one Christmas. Look at my sign. What? What's your sign? Oh yeah, Misfit made that for <laughs> you, right? I, I thought it was like the Tooth Fairy, so I'd always break one of my other belongings and put it under my pillow thinking he'd replace it with something better. When I was in high school, I used to have a lot of friends that surfed, and I grew up in like a surf town. Kind of had this tradition, and it was like a tradition we were trying to make, I guess you could say, where like every like super major holiday, we tried to make the effort to go out and like surf with each other, right? There were only two things that were open on Christmas Day for Jewish people. The movies? and Chinese food. Well, I'd almost given up hope because he hadn't visited me yet, but in the middle of the night, I was woken by a hand on my shoulder. I turn around, and who is it? The red man whose presence I yearned for so dearly. Santa, is it really you? I asked him, for he replied, it really is a me. I could recognize that speech pattern anywhere. And the funny part is, when you go to those two things, you'll see other Jewish families there. And as a kid, I remember like seeing Shrek 2, and I yelled out in the theater, who here is Jew? Because I had no embarrassment as a kid and like four families would like raise their hand and wave. It was so adorable He pulled down his beard as white as snow to reveal a thick black mustache It was indeed my brother Mario the whole time. It was when I was like 17 I went out and I was I was eating really shittily at the time So like so I, I like I would wake up and eat like cheesy hot dogs every day I just didn't know how to cook and my parents didn't give it like get, care about me at all So like <laughs> I would just like eat really bad food and you'll see how that correlates because I, I went out surfing and it was like 6 a.m. And I think I ate a cheesy hot dog and a pickle before going out. I remember like this Asian family, maybe they were Buddhist or something. And I yelled it at them like, are you guys Jewish too? And they like look at me like I'm the craziest fucking weirdo. Um, and now I have social anxiety. I have a present for you, Luigi, he said to me. He reached into his sack and pulled out something I could not believe. It was a video game, starring me on the cover, titled Luigi's Mansion. Your very own a game, my brother. After years of merely being in his shadow, he gives me a turn in the spotlight and the greatest gift I could imagine. That's gotta be my best Christmas memory, I think. Go pick up Luigi's Mansion for GameCube, the new game. It sold well enough to put me through medical school. It was like the Christmas morning before everyone, you know, got up and stuff. I went out and was surfing for like 20 to 30 minutes and I got a really bad leg cramp. Really bad. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. I kept on getting cramps because I had really high sodium, but this cramp was like to the point where I couldn't move. So, I got this cramp while on a wave, and I just remember like, so my leg cramps in the middle of a wave, and I just remember getting tumbled over, um, and I got pushed down, and I just remember being stuck under the water, and I was like screaming in pain, so that's exerting oxygen. Glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly hallelujah. I was screaming underwater with, with like my leg literally balled up to my knee. Like all my muscle balled up to my knee. And I, I just like, I, I, I started choking um, on water after like a minute of pretty much drowning. My friend Jake realized that I wasn't up. So like he found my board on top of the water and like kind of went down there and picked me up. That was like one of the craziest experiences of my life, surfing, and uh, having it happen on Christmas was really eye-awakening because it was like I could have, I could have literally died on Christmas. I would have like not, 
have been the best Christmas present for everyone in my life, you know? Yay! That was really cool. I was a twerp, if you would. A jerk. And for some reason, I don't remember why, but I think it was because I was jealous of my brother's present. He was a big hockey fan. He had a, he, had a, he got a collectible Mario Lemieux ornament. And it was very precious to him because it was his favorite ornament ever. But for some reason, I didn't, I was mad at him. I don't remember why. But I took that ornament and I threw it outside in the snow and I said, that'll teach him. He'll never get a good present ever again. Or whatever the reason was. I don't know why I did that. I was such an asshole. I'm so sorry. I think my favorite present that I've got is like this this sounds like maybe corny, but it's like like I, I like when people put effort into their gifts, right? My my one of my aunts like just like knit me this giant like blanket. And it was like this super cozy like knitted blanket and I love it. It's my favorite Christmas gift that I ever got. Probably like an hour later my brother noticed that it was gone from the tree. And they looked everywhere on that tree like, oh, did we put it somewhere else? Like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Did it fall? And then I was like, I looked right at him with my legs and my arms crossed and I said, I threw it outside. Like, I, maybe he was being a jerk to me. I don't remember why I did it. But I did it. And then they started yelling at me, and I started crying. But I was like, said, <laughs> They started yelling at me, and they said, You're to go out there right now in that cold snow with no jacket and no gloves. Because I was in trouble. So, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to be in comfort while I go find it. A lot of families stay at one home, get it together, and uh, watch Putin talk like uh, a life. Uh, a live translation of him talking like given a speech so that's what you do on new year's you just listen to a speech by putin i guess we didn't know how much it snowed that day it was like a foot of snow and it was very deeply in there so they thought like oh i just go out there really quick and go get it but no it took hours it took hours and i was shivering and freezing to death out there and i know it was my own fault but they would not let me come inside until i found that ornament so i was crawling around on the snow looking for that ornament i just i was crying my eyes out my tears were turning into icicles because i was so cold i didn't have a jacket on and i couldn't find it and i couldn't take the cold anymore so i ran back inside and they said you better you better have that ornament. You better have that ornament if you're coming in here. And they saw how cold I was. And they said, all right, fine. Go get your jacket on and we'll go help you find it. And we couldn't find it for months and months and months. And then it, it turned into spring. And the, all the snow melted. And it was right next to the door the whole time. Do you have any favorite Putin speeches? <laughs> no, I don't usually. Like, well, like, they're, they're usually the same. It's just like, uh, the previous year was great. I hope we do the same like in the next year. I now have video of you criticizing Putin. Are you going to turn up dead if I release this on YouTube? <laughs> I hope so. Leo, did you drink all of this? Mm, yes, I guess. Can't remember. <laughs> Are you drunk, Leo? I don't understand a word you're saying. Oh my, that chisel. So I grew up in Australia. My parents are actually originally from Hong Kong. We actually don't really celebrate Christmas. Trust me, there are a lot of uses for Bulgarian traditions. And on Christmas, the most important thing is to stay at home. Almost everyone stays at home except teenager boys. They go out singing. With my entire class, you know, we went to learn how to ride snowboards because why not? I went down and I'm like, wow, this is actually really easy. After I set that in my head, I hit a tree, and I hit it like really badly. What we used to do is we would uh, go to Hong Kong and we'd just chill. You ever go singing? Yeah, I did once. That it girl. went kinda bad. There is supposed to be one boy on the front that's holding a candle. And that boy was me. And let me tell you something, I'm really bad at holding candles. I fell, and uh, the candle fell too. My rope caught fire, and uh, a bit of chaos happened, and uh... Needless to say, I wasn't invited in the group next year. I fell down. I couldn't get up because I was covered in snow. I couldn't even catch my breath, you know. I was struggling. But when I hit that tree, my friend came up to me and he asked, Dude, are you okay? 
And I'm like, I, I couldn't speak because, you know, <laughs> I couldn't even breathe, so how can I speak? So I'm like, ah, ah. And that fucking guy, that fucking guy, he's just, well, if you're gonna act like a re I'm not gonna help you. And then he just left me to die. <laughs> about an event that we actually uh, celebrate, which is a Chinese New Year. During that time, uh, what you do is you would go to uh, like all your friends and your family's houses. You're basically the luckiest person if you're the youngest person because you go up to the elderly, um, so people who are older than you, and you go Bong Hei Fat Toy, which means uh, happy year. Uh, and you then you say like a Chinese saying, like, uh, Sun Tae Han, which means, like, uh, have a healthy year. Like, have a, uh, have a healthy body. And then the elderly give you a red pocket. I had, like, a friend in middle yeah, school yeah. give me one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was in it? I think it was, like, change or something. Oh, cute. <laughs> um, it, it is basically a pocket full of money. And, um, yeah, <laughs> you just get money. When we wake up, uh... On Christmas Eve, uh, we go to Christmas sauna, and like when you walk out of the sauna, you like get uh, Christmas ham straight out of the oven, and it's like really great experience. After that, we just like sit down on the sofa and watch some Christmas cartoons and stuff. Like we used to go to our grandmother's place before that, but then she died like right after Christmas. I did, as a kid, sort of, like, believe that it was better to have Christmas. So, I heard that people left out, like, food. <laughs> so, I did do the cookie thing. I did do the cookie thing, but no milk. And then, um, the next day, I, I got a present from my dad, and he gave me a calendar. That was his <laughs> hint to you to leave milk out next time. Like, most memorable is spending the last Christmas with my grandmother that passed away visited her in her hospital because she had uh, lung cancer don't s smoke please don't before we get to the last couple stories of the night i wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone for helping to get the channel to 200,000 subscribers would have thought we'd start the year off with this and end the year with this this video is going to be the first in a new series I'm going to be starting called Humans of VR Chat, where I discuss a specific topic with the many different people I meet in VR Chat. If you like the video, hit the bell icon after you subscribe because YouTube doesn't always alert you about my new videos if you don't. This will probably be the last video I post this year, and my goal for 2019 is to transition into working on YouTube videos full time. If you'd like to help out with that, I have a link to my Patreon in the description. If not, I still appreciate you just for watching, and Merry Christmas to everybody. Now, I haven't really done Christmas, and most of the Christmases I have them have been really bad. So you're leaving uh, cookies and milk out for Santa tonight? I don't believe in Santa. What? You don't? But Santa's real. No, but I... <laughs> no! I learned the truth a long time ago. Right. Oh, yeah. You know the truth, too. I don't know if Jordan knows, so like... Wait, LP Day, do you Wait. believe in Santa? What's up? You believe in Santa, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> I made it. So, like, one of the Christmases I had was with my aunt, and my dad was there, my stepmom was there, and it was just like a good old family time. But my stepmom had the bright idea to tell me that she hates me and just she doesn't want me in the family anymore. Jordan, are you leaving milk out for Santa tonight? Uh, I should do that. I have cookies, but I drink some milk and I'm gonna, now that you brought that up, I'm, I'm leaving lots of milk for Santa. That made me cry. I ran away from her, ended up going to my dad's truck, sitting there crying. My aunt and my dad didn't know that she said that. No one knew that she said that, only I knew. And so they got mad at me and then punished me for the rest of the Christmas. Has Santa ever left coal for you before? No. Nope. Me neither. Not a speck of coal. And it's been nine Christmases. Basically, this is my first Christmas. I'm actually spending with people that I truly care about. So, it's good. It's gonna be my, my probably my the best Christmas I've ever had. So what do you and your family do every Christmas, Jordan? We used to... My grandmother and uh, grandfather used to come over, but... 
Sadly, they uh, passed away, and but they're still gonna have a happy Christmas. Before I got into VR chat, I was one of those people that just sat in my apartment all day, not really talking to anyone or doing anything, just going to work, doing jack shit, feeling bad about myself. I had no friends really my entire life. Then I come to this game, and now I have hundreds of friends, a fuckload of people who care about me. Big, big life change just because of getting into VR. And if you're like one of those people who are like sad and scared, and you don't think you can be around anyone, you don't think you'll ever make friends with anyone, right? This could be everything that you're, you're missing from your life. What's the best Christmas present you ever got? The best... Um... My VR. Because I wouldn't have met you guys.